Hello, today I am doing a cheat night curry. So we have a jar of sauce. Not the most healthiest, but it's a week night. It's a school night. Um, so yeah, come with me while I feed my family. So I've put some olive oil in and I'm gonna put it on the saute mode. And I'm going to put in my chicken. I'm gonna use this as the Smart Price Chicken Breast Fillet. Um, they are frozen, but if I can see where it says, if you can see it says, where does it, can you see that? Is it focusing? For best results, cook from frozen. So, I'm not gonna use whole bag, I'm just gonna use half a bag. So, while that's heating up, I'm going to chuck some chicken in. So I've got my chicken breast in my Instant Pot with some oil. It's on sauté mode. It's not yet hot, so it's not sizzling. Um, I'm going to add some pepper, but I'm not going to add salt because obviously there's a high sodium content in the jar. And I don't like to give my kids too much salt. So if I was making this sauce from scratch, I would add salt, but I'm not going to. I'm then going to add up my chopped veggies, I've got one onion chopped and then I've got some mixed peppers and some green bell peppers. These are frozen um, but that's only because what I generally do is I buy my peppers, I chop them all up in one go and I stick them in a freeze lock bag and stick them in the freezer. Um, it, that just helps me, that's just what I prefer to do. And then I'm not wasting any and I'm just taking out what I need. So that's why. They don't, they don't look store-bought, they look like I've chopped them. So I'm going to chuck these in with the chicken also. So that's been sautéing and the veggies are soft. They're slight colour to the chicken. I'm now going to add in my jar. This one's from Aldi by the way, in case you were wondering. Um, I'm, I'm adding a full jar and then I will actually fill the jar halfway with water give it a shake, get the remainder out and chuck that in also. So with water, that way we're not wasting any. There we go. I'm actually all gonna, also going to add this garlic paste, also from Aldi. Um, although there's garlic in the curry paste, I do love garlic, so I'm just gonna add some of that. And then I'm going to give this a like so it's got a lovely consistency about it but obviously you know with the instant pot um it does kind of it does go watery so what i will do in that instance when i open this up i will stick it back on saute mode and i will just thicken it ever so slightly these are whole chicken breasts but i am going to, to cook them then take them out cut them into cubes and then place them because that's just how we like it. So I'll be back in a bit. Look at that, it looks lovely and it's not even cooked. I'm gonna put on the lid, put it into the lock position. I'm going to set it manual, 12 minutes. I'm gonna lower that I think, I'm gonna do 10. Because like I said, I'm gonna after 10 minutes I am going to chop up that chicken and then return it and put it onto the saute button to thicken that sauce. So I've cut my chicken up and it is really tender. So I don't know if that's because I left it on keep warm for so long because I kind of got distracted. Um whereas if I'd have took it out sooner, perhaps it wouldn't have been so soft. I mean it's fine. I might do it for eight minutes next time and you consider that was like frozen chicken breast. Um, I'm now sauteing my curry sauce. I'll just get a spatula and show you. As you can see it's, it's more soup like but I'll just allow that to thicken. Um, I would put the chicken back but if I do the chicken is literally going to shred. So I'm going to leave that to sit and then be back. So this is how it's looking.
nice and thick and I'm just going to start plating up and I'll show you what it looks like plated up.